There's a lot more than banana peels, smelly diapers, and old barbecue inside those Republic trucks rolling through the streets of San Angelo. They're actually loaded with cold, hard cash because there is huge money in garbage contracts. A lot of people smelled more than trash when the city rebid their garbage deal in 2014. And who could really blame them? After all, the city found out along the way that Republic had been cheating taxpayers for years. Millions of dollars. Monday, a class action lawsuit is filed against Republic Services for breach of contract. The city of San Angelo investigation is underway to determine whether Republic Services charged some customers in San Angelo unauthorized fees. Today sure, another company who wanted the San Angelo contract was the one who snitched off the alleged fraud. But who really cares? They were right. San Angelo's taxpayers demanded an audit. The city promised to do one. San Angelo's Standard Times newspaper demanded the audit be made public. The garbage vote put on hold. They shouted, too many questions remain. You gotta love government. You would think Republic would have been fired for cheating all those folks. You would think the city would want to have an audit completed before they did another deal with Republic, if they did one at all. But in San Angelo, the politicians are pretty forgiving because they gave Republic a deal that could span 30 years. But what about the promised audit? Nearly three years later, San Angelo taxpayers have never seen it until now. We have a copy of the city audit stamp draft. It's just one page long, unsigned, undated, but with a frightening conclusion. Republic had been overcharging commercial customers for years. The total amount that had been overcharged was too great and spend over too many years to be determined. You gotta laugh at what the city did next. They actually asked the company that ripped them off to find out how much they had cheated them. That's really neighborly. Republic's Houston lawyers sent the mea culpa to the city, promising north of $6 million in refunds, along with the, gee, we didn't realize we had cheated you stuff. City manager Daniel Valenzuela emailed the council Republic plans to start issuing refund checks in October. The city will also have its internal auditor verify the audit, its procedures, audit amounts. Mr. Valenzuela knows that never happened. He should tell folks the truth. It looks like there was another little secret. Republic had actually ripped off to the city to the tune of $100,000 in tax money. The police department, the fire department, a lot of city departments had been cheated to the tune of $102,000. At least we can be sure that Mayor Dwayne Morrison made sure that money was all paid back. You think? So maybe what we see in the records today is just a sign of sloppy record keeping. San Angelo can only produce a handful of checks for a small portion of the money that was supposed to be paid back. We asked for the rest of the checks. We got nothing. I think it's time for the mayor to explain why. And what about all the rest of the money that Republican ripped off from all those business folks? 2,000 commercial counts. You know, three years later, we've now discovered the city never even bothered to check to see who got a refund. How much? They don't even have a list of the people that were ripped off by Republic that they were supposed to be refunding to even check. That should change today.